So I'm here today um, to for my weekly live q and I missed last week because I've got builders in at the moment and it was way too noisy and also it's I mean it's quite dark today relatively it was similarly quite dark last week so noise and light weren't the best so I, I decided it was best to skip last week but I'm here this week if you do hear a bit of noise in the background you'll know that it's sanding and things like that's going on um, if you're interested in me showing you what I'm up to I'm happy to do a little behind the scenes tour um, I know I know people have these ideas of what architects houses might be like and honestly um, this uh, as a, quite a lot of architects I bought my house as a project and um, I've been very busy helping my clients achieve their ideal homes and successful projects for their own homes and so I've not spent as much time and effort um, on my own home as I would like to but I'm slowly doing bits and pieces and it is getting closer to what I would to my big vision I obviously have a big vision and an idea of what I want to achieve so I'm, I'm partly there um, but it's uh, it's quite a long way off achieving it so today um, if you are watching your you know, please um, hop on and comment below with any questions you've got. I'm happy to take questions and I'll answer them as best I can during the live. Um, and I'll come back and look at comments and potentially if it's a really juicy question, I might use your question to, as the basis for another live, another week and focus on that topic. Um, so please do, if you've got any questions about anything at all related to architecture, design, um, how to make your home suit you better, what, what you could do with your home, different problems that you might be experiencing with a project that you're considering or you're going through, then please pop those comments below as a question and, and I, will, I will pick them up. Um, so today is not a typical Q&A topic. I, I don't have a specific question because it's been Christmas holidays. I haven't done my usual um, collecting lots of questions and, and putting together ideas of, of how to answer those questions for you. Today I am asking really you a question and because this I think this is a really fundamental question that you need to answer for yourself to decide to help you get the best from your home and make sure that it is actually what you want and need for you and it is going to really meet those deeper desires and the question is why why do you want to do the work that you want to do i've been reading this book um and it's back to front here so you i don't know how to turn it round it's called why we build by Rowan Moore and um, the, the title of the first chapter is really interesting and he says desire shapes space and space shapes desire and I think that's really um, a fascinating sort of summary sorry a summary of what it is is I think it's a truth you know so what you what you really want you can make that space suit and support what you really want and also a space can can make things possible or restrict you so that you your um, desires might then change or adjust because of what you you are or are not able to do in the space that you have so asking that question of yourself why do you want to do the work that you're thinking about doing to your home and then even going deeper i mean there is a there's a design process a thought process a, an exploration process that you can go through which is called the five whys and so you ask why five times to try to get deep down into what is fundamentally the reason that you want to do something and you can by doing that process you can really figure out some really um, deep philosophical things 
that may then answering those deeper desires and needs may actually produce a completely different result to if you just um, stuck with the first your first thought about what it was that you needed and you can get a much better design as a result of that and, and be much happier and more content satisfied with the results so I've been having a think today about the sorts of things that most of my clients seem to desire um, what their whys are when they're looking at building their um, get, improving their home, making their home closer to their ideal. And, and the, the three things, the first one is a greater sense of self-esteem and pride, um, a better feeling of, of a higher standing, better status amongst your peers, your friends, your relatives, um, and sort of feeling like you have you are the best you can be you have the best you can have um and 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 also perhaps you're increasing the your your investment your value your personal value so that's one reason i think that's quite a common thing that you know people really want to feel feel better about themselves prouder about themselves and feel like they are either more on a par with their friends and family or even better than them you know there's so there's sort of that deep sense of um, what's your status in life you know are you an alpha or beta kind of thing and um, that that is quite a fundamental thing and a, and a definite driving force behind for a lot of people behind why they want to do the work they want to do to their home another um real key is to get better comfort, to feel more ease at home, to have more enjoyable life, to feel relaxed and tranquil, maybe to create a kind of a sanctuary, um, a place to escape, a space that you love and that you feel loved where you treat yourself better and you're taking care of yourself. So kind of a, um, a self-care and a, and a, just a general improvement to your life. Um, that is definitely a, a big driving force for a lot of people where you maybe got a lot of frustrations on a daily basis, but you could just, by better design of your home, you could just ease all of that and just things can be become a lot more effortless and feel much better so you can be happier living in your home. And then um, the third thing that I came up with was having more space for family and friends and space to entertain and be a host, um, to enjoy your life with others, to feel more connected to your friends and family, your neighbours maybe, um, to be a better parent or a better child or a better grandparent or a better cousin, um, you know, those maybe better auntie or uncle where you can, you can, but especially for parents, I think having, you know, better spaces where you can raise your children and feel like you've got a, a stronger, more connected family and more supported, more supportive home environment for your children. That is a really big driver for a lot of people. So those are the three main reasons that I see in most of my clients. There are, there are lots of other different variations on those, but they seem to me to slot into those three overriding. Um, so sense of pride and self-esteem and status, um, more comfort and easier life and um and better space for family and to feel connected um i would love to know if you uh, identify with any of those either of those any of those any of those three <laughs> options those three different ideas or if you have any other deeper whys what what's your reason for for wanting to improve your home have you got another reason that you feel you um you need to what's driving you so then there, there are, I was thinking, started to think about what is it that could be stopping you from getting that, that reaching those full better potential, those full potential of those deeper whys. And for, for a lot of people, certainly for my clients, my clients tend to own property which is older 
um, built pre-1940. Um, and, and maybe, you know, it has, they will tend to have a lot of beautiful characteristics to them, a lot of original features, but perhaps in some ways they could be cramping your style. You know, your home is a bit old and crumbly, maybe a bit outdated. It's, there's damage in certain places. Maybe you feel it's a bit unattractive. The spaces are awkward. Maybe there's not enough space. Um, the spaces are poorly connected. There's not very good views between spaces to get from one space to another is a bit of an awkward kind of route trajectory to go through. It's a bit convoluted maybe. Um, maybe there's damp and mould or leaks and cracks and ugly views or not enough of you or not enough daylight or no sunshine. Um, Maybe it's cold and drafty. These are all common problems that I, that my clients are experiencing with their homes and they really will be affecting how they, how their ability to entertain, their ability to be that best parent that they want to be, their ability to enjoy and relax and when they're at home and their ability to feel like you know where they live is worth something and that higher value has, has some value and reflects on their own status so these are all um quite typical problems that are easily overcome but they're they're very common and a lot of people struggle with these different things then there is a kind of a fear. A f fear is a big, big factor, which is which prevents a lot of people from going forward with their project. There's a fear of getting it wrong. You know, if you've got a beautiful property, especially, and it's got some stunning original features, well, what bits do you protect and preserve, and what bits do you um, refurbish, and what bits do you just get rid of? And and getting that wrong when you've got a beautiful home, and you know that the original features are part of the value of you know these. Your home is a big personal investment, um, so the financial side of things is always there's always there. Um, but that that fear of not not getting it right, and maybe damaging the value of your property. Those are those are big fears or or of choosing the wrong, making the wrong choices and then not being happy with it and it not actually meeting your real deeper needs. Um, maybe choosing the wrong architect, choosing the wrong builder, um, paying more than you should for, for the work that you're having done. Um, and then just the fear of the unknown and being uncertain and just not being sure what to do. So fear is a really big reason why um, lots of people struggle to um, to move forward with their project. And um, I must say that this is, I, I've met clients who have lived in their home for maybe upwards of 20 years and they've wanted to do work to their home and would love to change it, but they're really struggling to figure out what it is that they should do how should they change it what's important to them and asking asking yourself if i mean whether that's you or as a couple i i know that is more difficult to to come to an, an agreement get on the same page about what it is that you want um but certainly asking yourself five whys trying to figure out you know deep down what is the reason that you want to do this work is it to feel more connection is it to feel like you're a higher status person? Is it to um, have an easier, more comfortable life? What what are the what's the purpose behind the work that you want to do, and how can you achieve that? I can help you with how to achieve it, but I can't if I don't understand what it is that you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it. It's so important. And uh, I find very, very few people come to me having a very clear idea about why they want to do it. And uh, lots of people come to me and say, and tell me what they want, but not why. And I think why is so fundamental and it will get you a much better project. Um, so if you are fearful, fearful of getting it wrong and not sure what decisions to make, then first of all, ask why. And secondly, 
go and get the free checklist that I uh, that I've created to help you make those first fundamental decisions and get the ball rolling. You, you know, you, you basically to make a project work, you need to make decisions and understanding self analysis and analysis of your home is really key. And then making decisions as a basis of that. That is how what you need to do to start your project off on the right foot. Um, and finally, um, the final thing that I feel is a barrier to people getting the that home that you know you really would love to have and that is the process the whole process you have to go through it's for people who do not work within the construction industry some of this can feel quite mysterious and unknown and you know things like do you need planning permission do you need build control permission um though you know a lot of people get confused between the two they don't realize that they are two separate things if you are um, not sure yourself, I have made some live streams about these topics. So you can go back and look at previous live streams about planning permission and about building control. That will help clarify some of the questions you might be having. Um, you might be thinking, oh, well, uh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to get what I want in this house. And also, I don't know if it's even possible to do it. You know, it, would that wall fall down if I did this? You know, some of these things are like, structural engineers are brilliant people. They can really help make sure that your house doesn't fall down. And you definitely want to make sure of that. Um, but this sort of the idea of the process and not being sure of the process, that is uh, really key. But that again, that is something that's very easy. There is a lot of information. If if you are unsure of the process and you want my help and you want some more information about what is the process, how to go about it, what what are the different stages that you need to go through, then please drop a comment down below and I will, I'm certainly more than happy to do some, some um, videos about what the process is, you know, to get from A to B, an idea that you want to do something from your with your home to a complete project. You know, there's there are a lot of stages and steps involved, but it's very, very straightforward and, and it all starts with making the decisions, doing the analysis and making the decisions. So what what can happen if you don't um, make a start and you don't get that home that you really would love? Well, this is these are the sorts of things that people say to me when I go around to their home and they're they may be they 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 apologize they say oh i'm sorry about this and i'm sorry about that and they feel embarrassed about their home and that's that's heartbreaking for me i mean must admit sometimes i feel a bit like that about my home because i have these big visions and i know what i would love it to be like and it's not there yet um so my own you know i i i know what i would like it to be like and it's not there so i'm apolog when i apologize to friends and family it's because it's not is not where I want it to be. And it's not what I've got in my head about what my home should look like. So I completely understand that sort of feeling. And I know a lot of people feel like that. Um, they maybe even limit the amount of visits that they have from friends and family. You know, you don't want to, them to come around because you don't really want to feel embarrassed. So you just say, oh, well, I'll meet you in, in a bar or I'll come to your house or I'll meet you in this cafe or whatever it is. Um, so you're not having that sort of sense of embarrassment when they come round and feeling like you have to apologise. Um, sometimes you can be feeling really frustrated on a daily basis. You know, it might be a little bit of a battle to get in and out of the front door because there's just not quite enough space. There's no nowhere handy to set your keys and your bags down on the way in or and take your shoes off and pop some slippers on or whatever you know these different little tiny things can make a big difference maybe you know it's a big struggle to get dinner on the table because from the kitchen to the dining room there's a long corridor and several doors in between and it's you know you're constantly spilling things as you get from one place to another um, a bit like faulty towers <laughs> soup over you um, and so these little frustrations daily frustrations and irritations they can all go away with a well-designed space but if you're living in an awkward space where there's it just doesn't work for you and your lifestyle you can really face a lot of daily irritations and frustrations there might be really minor ones but lots and lots and lots of little tiny minor things can really build up and add to a lot of ooh, a lot of you know tension in your shoulders 
Um, so maybe you're, you might, you might not enjoy being at home yourself and so you stay out more and you you maybe that can be a bit exhausting if you've not got somewhere you can go home and you can kick back and relax and recuperate recharge and if you don't feel like you can do that in your home then that that is a problem and that's something that can be easily solved and, and then you know if you're preventing friends and family from coming around and you're not entertaining the way that you would like to and you're you know maybe you don't have enough space for you maybe you love cooking but you'd love to be able to have um six eight ten twelve people around for a meal and you can't do that because you haven't got enough space for a dining table that would fit that many people so you can't you can't entertain in the way that you would like and maybe that that could have effects of you feeling a bit isolated and lonely because you're not able to socialize in the way that you would like to and these are all things that can happen when your home doesn't really suit you and doesn't fit you and doesn't fit your lifestyle and then what can how can you feel once once you do meet those deeper desires and you have got that home that you really want um, you can be really feel excited to show your friends and family around you want them to come around you want them to see this home that really reflects you reflects what you would love in your home and how you want to live your life and that is really key and fundamental to how to who you are as a person your home can reflect that um, you'll feel you can feel proud of it relaxed you can feel at ease all those daily frustrations and irritations you know they can just go away yes you'll have other things to deal with everybody that's life there are frustrations on a daily basis for everybody in every way but if you can remove as many of those in your home as possible then you can at least get out the door in the morning in a positive um happy frame of mind as positive and happy as you can be and and that's a you know that sets you up for more um, more enjoyment, more success, more of, of those things that you really want to achieve. And if you've got a spa spaces that work for you, maybe that you know you've got that open plan kitchen that you've always wanted, space for your kids to sit and do their homework while you're preparing the dinner, and you can be that better parent, that better mum, that better dad that you really would love to be. You can watch your toddler um, playing with their toys and while you're, you know, making their puree or whatever it is, you, you can be that better parent that you want to be when you've got the space that you, you need to be able to do that where you've got, you can feel that better connection within your family and you, you can see and you can move around more freely and more easily. So I hope this has really helped. It's really um, just, I just feel like so few people come to me when they start, when they're looking to start their project and have a really clear idea of why that, why it is that they want to do this. And that why it can be so revealing, not just to me as an architect in terms of revealing to help me to give you your solution, it can be revealing to you as a as a homeowner so that you can understand better what it is that you really need and how it is that you can get that and that is at the end of the day that is what i want for my clients i want you to have that home that you love to feel as happy as you can in your home and it's not about me i'm not going to live there i'd love to come and see your home finished but that that is pretty much the extent of where i will my interaction i tend to have and it's all about you. It's all about you living your best life and enjoying that life um, with your friends and your family and having that home that you really need. So ask why, make those decisions, download the checklist, get hold of the checklist so that you can make those initial fundamental decisions and get your project started off on the right foot. Okay, Happy New Year and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.